to show you how the survey flow works in Qualtrics, I went back to the base template study survey that I uh, talked about in the beginning of this tutorial. Now, I did add one element to this uh, base template, that is the bot check that we created in the previous video. I want to use that to illustrate how survey logic can empower your survey. To go to the survey flow of a survey, click on the left top corner on survey flow. It's just below the builder. The builder is effectively the screen that we've been working in for the whole uh, tutorial where we created the questions in and can create new blocks in, etc. The survey flow is on a higher level and um, it shows you the flow that participants go through when they are um, taking your completing your survey. So all participants here first see informed consent, then the bot check, then demographics, etc. until the end of the survey and that's where um, the survey ends and they cannot proceed anymore to a new element. Now for the bot check, um, we actually want to um, exclude participants who do not, do not give a correct response. So you may remember that the correct response was M. This couldn't be can be a capital M or a lowercase m, um, just to be sure. Um, and with the survey flow, we can add elements below by clicking here at below. Now this is will create a new element that is then shown after or executed after the bot check. Here I'm adding a branch, which is a uh, logic element. In this branch, I can create a condition. So this branch will not be triggered until you add a condition. Let's add a condition. All right. This condition will relate to the bot check and we'll say bot checks here, the question bot check. If people have responded something that does not contain an M and the question also does not contain a capital M, so lowercase M and capital M, Okay, then please send them to the end of the survey. Apply. What happens now is that when people um, do not fill in either a lowercase or a capital M in the bot check, this branch will forward them to the end of the survey. If they did fill in either an M, lowercase M or capital M, then they're going to the demographics. This is a nice way of structuring logic. You can also present other elements based on people's responses. For example, if somebody is saying, I am a man, you can then present them with questions um, that you only want to ask to your male participants. Um, and you can do other things with uh, uh, anything basically there with branching. Another often used element in the survey flow is randomization. I'll show you how that works. Again, we click add below and we add a randomizer. Now, the randomizer is currently empty and using the move button, I am going to drag the demographics and the personality questions into the randomizer. And the randomizer is now presenting both of these elements, but then in a random order. So it might first present the participant with the personality questions or the demographics. This could be important if you want to offset any order effects of presenting that might occur because you present participants uh, with the questions in a certain order. Now, lastly, as you could see already, using the move button, it's very easy to move blocks around means that you can quickly restructure your survey using the survey flow. Don't forget to click apply and save your changes. Now you can easily structure your whole survey.